SuperCam is a geological observatory. When you talk about an observatory, usually it's with respect to astronomy because it's a telescope looking at the stars. But SuperCam actually has a telescope, but it is so that we can look at the rocks and the soils around the rover, uh, and, we, and that light that we get back from these laser techniques tells us uh, a lot about the properties of the rocks, their chemistry, their mineral properties, and then a lot of times, or at least with this microphone, their hardness and potentially whether they have weathering coatings on them. The microphone on SuperCam, um, we wanted to, it's a latecomer. We wanted to add it and give the public the feel for the sounds on Mars, which had never been heard before. When we fire the laser from this telescope, uh, it makes a zapping sound on the rocks. And that zapping sound actually tells us some things. It'll change if we're in or out of focus, but beyond that, uh, it'll tell us if we're actually starting to profile into the rock. Beyond that, we can listen to the wind, and uh, then there's the sound of the rover. And that can be very useful as well. In this recording, what you hear is the first time we've used the laser and listen to it on Mars. So you just hear sort of a tick, 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 tick sound. And the sound propagates uh, more quietly through the Mars, the thin Mars atmosphere. But we are listening to those little uh, plasmas. I, I actually mention it a little bit as a very tiny version of lightning and thunder. All right, there is a little flash and then you have a very tiny ticking sound as that plasma is created. We've heard the wind in a couple of our recordings already, and so you're, uh, you're sometimes just listening to it and then all of a sudden you'll hear this gust. Not exactly the same as a, the Earth's sound of wind, but it's sort of like it. And so we're gonna be studying that over time to hear how the wind goes, when is the windiest time on the, on the, on the surface, when does it die down, is the rover creating some turbulence, things like that.